All right, that low cost carrier that promoted a summer launch at YVR is now delaying its plans to soar into the skies from the lower mainland. For more on this, we're joined by business in Vancouver's Tyler Orton. So Tyler, when is Canada Jetlines going to be operating out of YVR? Well, instead of some summer vacations, it looks like we're going to have to wait until at least the holiday season in December. This comes as the Vancouver-based company had previously announced it would be in possession of two Airbus planes by June. And the cost of keeping them grounded would have been too expensive to just leave them sitting there. Hence, the expectation it would be launching in the summer. Instead, the airline has scuttled that original idea and inked a new deal for two alternate planes that won't actually be available until the fall. So looks like December 17th is the official launch date and it'll be going right out of YVR. It's going to be based here in Vancouver. I think there's going to be a lot of local interest for one of these budget airlines, which we just don't have very many of here in Canada. Yeah, without a doubt. The other story you're following with a divorce settlement now finalized. Mackenzie Bezos is the fourth richest woman in the world. So what will this split from Jeff Bezos mean for Amazon? This is a very unique situation with regards to the divorce because they were actually married before Amazon launched and she had a very instrumental part to play in the founding of the company. She is walking away with 25% of all of Jeff Bezos's shares. That equals $35.6 billion US. This is a huge amount. But the big point of contention about the future of the company is what would happen with the voting shares. In the divorce settlement, Jeff Bezos is actually going to retain the voting control of his ex's shares. That's a bit of a sign of relief for investors who are unsure of a third party coming in who would then suddenly become the third largest shareholder in the company. It seems as if this is an amicable divorce, hence this particular settlement going forward with the couple. All right, Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver. Thanks as always. Thanks so much.